talk. <laughs> My name is Nicola and I'm one of the content and writing ambassadors for ITA. I've been in Bangkok for a few weeks now house sitting for some friends and I really love this city so I can't wait to show you around today. So since I'm not actually teaching in Bangkok, I won't be able to tell you about the job hunting process or the typical day in a classroom here, but I do know ITA has a ton of resources on their website and Facebook groups that can answer all those questions for you. But what I can do is show you around Bangkok and you can see if this is a place where you might want to start your abroad adventure. So let's go! Or <laughs> 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 It might be Thai iced tea. <laughs> oh wait, no, this one's mine. Yes. <laughs> so this is the Thai iced coffee. This is one of my favorite things. <laughs> I did the online TEFL course while I was still teaching in the States, which was perfect for me because I had a full-time job, so I needed something that was really flexible, and I was able to do that in addition to working, and it was really interesting, so I had a great time in my online course. I know a lot of people have questions about the practicum portion of the online TEFL course. So I was teaching in a school at the time, but my school didn't have any ESL students. It was a really small school. So I did a little research, and and I found out that a school district near mine offered adult education classes and they had an adult ESL class several nights a week, so I was able to do my practicum there. So if you're not sure where to do your practicum, I suggest checking out your local school districts because you might be able to find something similar close to you. So a lot of people finish their TEFL course and have several months before they're actually able to move abroad and teach. If you're one of these people, you probably want to get out there, you want to put your teaching skills to the test, and moving abroad can be expensive, so you might want to make some extra money. So an awesome way to do this is teaching English online. You can teach English online while you're still in the States, before you come abroad, and it's a great way to save up some money for your big move and get some experience teaching actual ESL students and build confidence. Okay, I had to move into the air conditioning. <laughs> so to be an online English teacher, most companies look for a native English speaker with a bachelor's degree or higher with some experience working with children. This can be teaching, tutoring, mentoring, that kind of thing. So there are some exceptions to this. Not every company requires that you have a bachelor's um, and there's some flexibility. ITA has put together a really awesome chart that compares the different companies and you can grab that on their website. If you're teaching English online from the States before moving abroad, there's a good chance you'll be working pretty early in the morning or late in the evening, and on the weekends there's a little more flexibility. But the great thing about teaching online is with most companies you have complete flexibility with your schedule. Okay, we're going to find some dinner! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so good! A lot of people wonder about um, when you're traveling alone, how do you make friends, how do you meet people? <laughs> Sorry. 
really loud. Um, so this is one of the ways that ITA has been super helpful because they have Facebook groups for pretty much every country. And you can use these groups to find people in your city or in your town and everyone's really, really friendly and cool. So it's a great resource to have to help you get settled and find like your first group of friends when you get abroad. Hope you had a great time seeing Bangkok today. Um, if you want more information about teaching English online or house sitting or just my travels in general, you can follow me at my blog and I'll put the link right here. And <laughs>